You lucky European bastards. <laughs> Good news, everyone! Hey guys, what is going on? I am Scout with three guns down, as always, and GamesCon is going on. So this is more of a news segment than anything, really, at the moment. <sighs> There's a reason why I said you lucky European bastards, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the Kinect 2 actually works, and they have proof uh, with their first play tech uh, or play test with Kinect Sports. Um, and it works really, really well. It was very, very accurate. Apparently, they never, they didn't find anything that was wrong with it at one point. So, Connect 2 actually works, like we all thought the first Connect would. Uh, Sony has finally revealed the release date of the PlayStation 4, which is November 15th and November 21st or 29th in Europe, but 15th in the United States. Uh, Minecraft is coming to PlayStation 4. Whoopee! Um, there were a shit ton of uh, indie games that were announced for PlayStation 4 and PS3 and Vita. I mean a shit ton. Uh, so much that I'm not even going to bother with trying to do a list, but there's a lot. So if you're into the indie crowd, but you also like your console gaming, PlayStation 4 is definitely going to be the way to go. They've got a lot of indie game PlayStation 4 exclusives. Um, PlayStation 4 and indie game... Uh, PlayStation 4 and uh, PlayStation Vita indie games should be able to cross-platform. So you can play it on the PlayStation 4 and then have it streamed through Wi-Fi to your PlayStation Vita. They showed a lot of that off. They actually showed uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag being played on the PlayStation 4. And then they just seamlessly took it over with PlayStation Vita. And it did not seem to lose any, any graphical context, context or quality. And I think the reason for that is because they're streaming it to the PlayStation Vita via Wi-Fi. And then the information is inputs are being streamed back. So there's just a, a, an encoder, a video encoder in there that does all the work for you. It's not actually relying completely on the internal components of the PlayStation Vita, which is why it didn't seem to lose any graphical fidelity. So, but that's what it just looked like on stage. I'd have to actually play with it, to be honestly, to tell you and, you know. Um, Borderlands 2 is going to be coming to the Vita for remote play, just to demonstrate how powerful the PlayStation Vita is and what it can actually do. Um, and... There was one other thing, or there's two other things I want to say about PlayStation first off. Um, they announced, <laughs> this is why I said you lucky European bastards. One, Gamescon's going on and I want to go to Gamescon. Gamescon is almost like becoming a second E3. Almost. Not quite there, but it's getting really, really big. It's like the E3 a month and a half later. So, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every year. Um, it was really big this year. And it, it's bringing a lot of awesome news. But... PlayStation 4 is partnering with certain ISP, internet service providers, in Europe uh, to provide you up to 200 megabytes down in internet service and gaming channels, you know, gaming servers made for nothing but video games. Uh, Virgin uh, was one, Ono was another, I, I can't remember the other two. But bravo Sony! Holy shit! And they're gonna they're, they're gonna package these things with ISPs. And if you have a PlayStation 4 in Europe, you can buy this package from that service provider. And they said they were announcing further plans for other areas and other countries later on, but nothing as far as North America yet. I hope to God they announce something for North America, because <laughs> 200 megabytes down. I've got 30 megs down, five up right now. So I'm better than the average in America. I think our average is like 16 megabytes, 16 or 15. It's it's in that range. Um, so it's pretty low. But 200 megs down. Um, I'm going to have to double confirm that to be sure. Maybe he misspoke or something. <laughs> that's Because that's a lot for American countries. And, but when you think about it, Japan has a gig down, a gig up. Google's providing... Google Fiber gig down gig up. We're seeing a lot more gig down gig up everywhere. So 200 megabytes is not unreasonable and it's not totally far-fetched and out there. It's very plausible. I just, I'm a little bit stunned by it. The last thing on the PlayStation, um, if you buy Battlefield or any of the next-gen games that are coming out on X or on PlayStation 3 before PlayStation 4 comes out, like Ghosts, Battlefield, games like that, you can buy Battlefield 4, 
uh, all, all the all, uh, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, there were a few others that he mentioned. Those are the two big ones I really remember. You can buy Watch Dogs. Um, uh, you can buy all those games if you've already got them on PlayStation 3. You can buy them for PlayStation 4 at a significantly discounted price. Now, I didn't tell us what it was. If it's like 50% off, good. That's amazing. So it's like 30 bucks for upgrading. That's not half bad at all. Um, that's 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 wonderful, really. Uh, and that's a really good idea and a really good way to move out fresh IPs. Sony's really hitting the ball with everything that they're doing right now. I mean, they are just on everything. They're not missing a beat. Um, the other thing they said, uh, that the CEO of PlayStation came out and said, Unlike our other competitors, we have not changed or wavered from our story. Burn. Uh, and Microsoft's press conference wasn't anything to marvel at either. Nor did they come out and say, we're sorry for trying to fuck you over. They're just like, we're Microsoft. And it's like, okay, you can change your policies and everything, but if you came out on stage and gave us a sincere, we are sorry for trying to fuck you over, we would really, like, appreciate that, and it would be really good from, like, a, you know, a uh, business standpoint, considering everything that Sony is doing right now, you are gonna get fucking crushed by the PlayStation 4. Fucking crushed. Even if you have no Always Online, even if you have... Uh, gotten rid of the used games, even if the connect can be disconnected, what Microsoft really needs to do is re release a version of the Xbox One that is not bundled with Connect for $399, so it can actively compete with the PlayStation 4. This $499 price tag is killing them right now, and they're idiots to think so. I'm going to end up getting both, I'll tell you that now, for two reasons. One, I like to keep you guys informed about everything, and two, there's games I want on both systems that are exclusives. Or is there? It turns out that uh, there is going to be a PC version for Destiny. Mm -hmm. um, there is going to be a PC version for Titanfall. There is going to be uh, a PC version for a lot of the games that we thought were going to be exclusive to the consoles. They're not anymore. Uh, the Division uh, is going to have a PC release as well. Tom Clancy's The Division, made by Ubisoft. And we thought that was just going to be strictly consoles. But no. No, it's it's not. So we... Um, the Battlefield 4 beta is coming in October. So not soon enough, but hey. <laughs> uh, I, I'm okay with waiting. I really am. Um, all, ex all expansion packs for Battlefield 4 will come to premium subscribers two weeks early. Kind of figured that already. Um, I wonder which console is going to get the content earlier, though. PlayStation 4 or 360 or Xbox One. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say PlayStation 4 just like they did last gen. However, you never know. Um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, EVR. It was an Oculus Rift dog fighting game that they showed off at E3. Uh, and this is the same guys that make EVE, uh, they've been experimenting with this, EVE VR, EVE Virtual Reality, a and now it is a full-blown game that's going to be coming 2014. They were just playing around, seeing what they could do, and it turns out they could do a lot. And now it's going to be a full-blown game t coming 2014 for the Oculus Rift. This Rift is looking like a damn good... I hope more games get behind this and make it a substantial piece of equipment to launch a sort of platform on, like games for the, the Oculus Rift. Um, because a lot of these games are played on PC, and we have some scene interactivity with the, the, the Xbox and the PlayStation, but not as much as we have with PC, so we're going to see, I hope to God that the Oculus Rift has a huge launch platform on, on PC, it will be simply amazing. Um, they, they, they showed Skyrim off on Oculus Rift, and it, I was just like, I almost found. People say it's totally, because your field of vision becomes nothing but the game. You see the game, you don't see corners or edges around your eyes, you see the game. The way its lens has this wraparound effect, you just see the game. There's no cornered edges, there's no box, it's just the game. And you turn your head and you look around in the world. That's freaky as hell because now you're going to have this depth perception, this depth perception, but perception of where things are as well. Like, I know if I turn my head left, there's the door. It's not going to be if I move my joystick left, there's the door. Because you're still staring, that's, 
just think about that in your head. It's like walking outside except your feet aren't moving. It's, it's a totally surreal experience and it messes with your head. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, the division is going to, uh, of course, be on <clears throat> the uh, PC, as I said before. Blah, 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 blah. Killer Instinct. I got a bone to pick with this. A big one. So, Killer Instinct is going to launch in February, or... Or, no, I'm sorry. Killer Instinct is going to launch, launch with the Xbox One. However... It's only going to have six characters. It's going to have practice mode, training mode, online multiplayer, but no story mode. And pay options offer additional content, including the original emulated Killer Instinct. It's going to be a free-to-play uh, game, pretty much. And if you want more of the game, you have to pay. So it's kind of like a pay to play. There's no possible way to work up and unlock the rest of this game. It's pay to. It's like, oh, I'm tired of these six rosters of characters. Well, guess what? You gotta pay for the rest. This is one of those stigmas that they said, you know, watch out for in, in, in games. It's just. Um, and in February or March, it's only going to have eight characters max. And that's when the story mode will become available. Oh, there's also no online multiplayer. There is multiplayer like co-op versus in your couch. But there's no online multiplayer. What? Why what? And then they said, no online, we're trying. The game's not ready to launch. Don't launch it. What the fuck are you doing? Look, I'm a huge fan of fighting games. But if a game is not... Look, this is the worst idea ever. And... I want Killer Instinct to succeed, but at the same time, I want this to fall flat through on their fucking face just to realize we can't do that anymore. It needs to. It really needs to. Uh, on to more stuff about Microsoft. Microsoft and Infinity Ward did confirm at GamesCon that there will be dedicated servers. Um, that's some good news. I'm going to give this Call of Duty again a 50-50 chance whether it revolutionizes the Call of Duty genre and breathes life back into it again. Um, beforehand, it was like 10% it will, 90% it won't. But again, 50-50 now. Especially with those those dedicated servers. It's exactly what it needed. Those are the exact words I wanted to hear come out of their mouth. Only for Microsoft, though. They didn't say anything about PlayStation 4. So... Uh, um, Stuff about FIFA that nobody cares about. Fable Legends. Apparently, Fable Legends is a five-person multiplayer co-op game, and this is how it kind of works. Basically, there are going to be a bunch of different heroes that you get to pick from, right? And then when you pick from these heroes, um, you four of you are going to be battling everything. And then the fifth person is going to be the fifth hero is going to be the villain, and they get to set up the traps and the enemy spawns and everything like that. It sounds kind of interesting in concept, but it doesn't really sound. It, it didn't really look that good. Um, they're taking out Fable, things out of Fable that made Fable. The character customization, the, 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 you know, they're just taking a lot of the, what made Fable, Fable, out of Fable. Uh, Fable 1 anyways. 2 was okay, 3 was completely fucking ruined. 3 is an awful game. Um, um, Rise is not just a bunch of quick time events. Apparently it has, uh, a lot more depth to it than that. They were showing off the arena, which looked amazing. Um, they, there was a lot of stuff they showed off, and I, I really can't go over the entire article at the moment. But uh, that's pretty much everything that's come out of GamesCon so far. Uh, the video's a little short than normal, uh, just because. But yeah, uh, keeping an eye on GamesCon, this is just only day one. Been through all the announcements. There was a lot of good stuff said, but again, out of all the press conference, Sony's fucking two for two. EA and GamesCon. <sighs> Microsoft better watch their shit. I mean, I hope to God the Xbox One falls flat on its ass, sells 30% of what Sony does. They they deserve it. 
they deserve to fail right now because they stabbed us in the ass and then they're like oh well we're doing this and this and this to change it now but they never said sorry all right guys that's pretty much it for me i'm scout with three guns down don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video check out our facebook and our twitch as always a lot of streaming and if you're looking for any other content i post a lot of stuff on the facebook if you want to ask me any other questions you can do it in the comments below and i please advise you do i always love to respond to my peoples um and the facebook as well if you want to privately ask a question you can do that there uh, much easier than you can on youtube it's stupid sometimes um and just for the instant overkill boobs yeah happy <laughs>